Yeah, got myself some nice scratches there. So this was a tricky one. Um, I'm doing the stand start now, which is the 60. It's a 60 plus uh, V3 for the sit start. Um, it's a little bit easier. Um, but at least the top part is the tricky part, so that's why I went to the stand start. Uh, it's just this part here, just getting feet in a good position, and then straight to the top. Um, but it's kind of no more decent. Well, all the footholds are pretty much bad, but um, it got even worse towards the top, it seems. So, trying again from the stand start. The first part's fairly simple, just keep my uh, pushing for feet, keep my weight out right so I can load my hands, generate some friction. Uh, so, this part's all fine, just not getting any friction from a right smear. And to work my left foot up. Well, first need to find a good right foot, so I've got a little one there. And from here, straight to the top. And yeah, kind of the way it's shaped, it's just, <laughs> it's easy, I think, just to do it this way, where basically just get up that way. Not the most elegant, but um, yeah, without any decent footholds, didn't know if it was really a better method. Uh, so that's that one done. On to this one it involves a Gaston. So I come from these pockets that start out as blunt arete, very rounded arete. You can't really see on camera. And um, it kind of leans out left towards the top. Uh, just try to find some good friction from my right hand. Just slapping about, trying to see what grips the most. And so how it describes it is you work your way up the arete and then into a Gaston press along the crack there, the crack line up top. Just trying to work my way up first. It's just awkward when it's just slapping about trying to find any friction and I didn't come off. So from here I'm just going to go try and go straight to this Gaston. Just latching with two fingers. It's a two finger press pretty much. Then my left foot's on a tiny hold, tiny little foothold. Um, so here it's here with the tick mark, but it doesn't really help. You can't really see. It's just it's pretty much the only edge um, on that rock there. The pockets are because the wall's slightly overhanging. The pockets are kind of terrible. Not really much use for a foot. Um, yeah, just try to get this gas on. So I work my foot up, and oh, no, I don't hear. Yes, this is getting frustrating. Um, just took a break, and now we're trying again from the start. It basically feels that sequence just feels too hard for a six B. It's like a V four. Um, yeah, it's just very tough. And so it feels like I'm missing something with this climb. Um, probably, if I was to guess, I actually don't actually do it here. Um, but if I was to guess, the solution would be maybe working my way up the arete a bit more and try and maybe once I get my left foot on here, try and work my right foot up. Because the way I'm going to do it now, just get my a better grip with that left hand. Still kind of two fingers only. And I come over my right onto a fairly small half pad crimp, three fingers. Try and hold this double Gaston and my foot and tiny pebble. <laughs> yeah, I think that is overcomplicating and making a, a very hard sequence. Um, yeah, so it feels like I'm missing something. Either my right hand has to come up to match on the crack and just smear my feet as I swing out, or yeah, I wasn't sure. And this was my last try before I moved on, thinking just not getting it. And so this is the big boulder move on to. Um, both boulders here were in Cory on the Isle of Arran. This one just further south. And this is it round the back. And this problem called the balance. A very well named problem because it's basically all about maintaining balance as you kind of reach up. Kind of the red or getting over these rounded lips. And so going with my right hand, a lot of just testing, trying to find anything any type of friction, I'm not really getting any. Try and left hand now. 
and nothing great. And the feet's laid off. Try a little heel here, maybe keep me into the wall a bit better. But it's mostly the hand, um, getting a good hand hold is the problem at the start. Just trying to find somewhere that can offer good enough friction to basically allow me to stay on as I push up with my feet. But yeah, that didn't work. And so this attempt I'm going to try, before kind of trying to get a good hold, get my body right in. Because this part, the rock kind of comes in like a concave. So try and push my body as much as I can in that concave. And so then I can... So this one again, my right hand kind of pull down, so slowly push up, trying to maintain that knife edge balance, which I love. I really like moves like that, where you just you can only move slowly just because if you do it quickly, you're off. And yeah, so now I'm just looking for a decent hold. Right now I'm just holding this position with kind of friction, not really using a hold. Got a decent enough one for my right hand there. Now I just need a good left hand hold. That's and I get it. And just at this lip here is a good hold. Uh, it feels very secure, so I'm just going to match on it and kind of rock myself up. And once I'm over this lip, I just need better friction with my right foot to so bring that over. Yeah, once I'm over there, that's it. Done. Yeah, really enjoyed that one. I love that kind of balancey, tricky stuff. And so then I'm on to, still in the same part of the rock, um, this one's called the Rhythm from a sit start. Really poor crimps actually, the start, um, not great feet either, you come up to this layaway. Uh, so I match on that, just going to try and get a bit more height, and up to these pockets which aren't too good, the fact they're a little bit wet still didn't help, um, but yeah I can still hold them. And the one my left hand's in now is really deep. It's like a, a side pool pocket, um, but yeah, just very generous. And yeah, these pockets, you try to find. Basically, the issue here is getting good right foot. Um, the wall is fairly blank apart from the layaway, so feet don't have many options. And yeah, so <laughs> left me a little bit confused. And so the stand star of this is called the snare, even though it's pretty much the same problem. And it goes at 6C, so still kind of V5. And so here, go the left hand up to that big pocket again. Uh, nowhere really to put my right hand. Where it is now in these pockets just isn't that great, they're not very deep. And it's this right foot to <laughs> give me trouble. So this try, I'm going to actually reverse the sequence. Go left hand to these pockets, kind of use both of them, use them as a pinch comp almost. Then go right hand into that kind of side pull. And it's really deep, so you can you feel strong on it. it. Allows me to try and find better foot position, which I get. And up here, it's actually a two finger pocket using the your index finger and your ring finger. It's quite cool. Then out left another kind of ridge. And so here I'm just smearing all the way. It's just no edges whatsoever for the feet. Almost lose my balance here, but <laughs> managed to swing myself back on. And to so this point, yeah, very um, precarious position. Just need to keep everything steady and slow and controlled as I move over. Any kind of sudden move, and you're going to slip with my poor feet and not so great handholds. And so I'm going to try and get work my right foot up to match on that ledge. And as I come left, whoop, almost lose balance. Managed to get some grip. And once I'm over this ledge here, this lip, yeah, then I feel safe. Yeah, so this climb, really nice movement. I liked it a lot. Um, I think extra excitement just because of the wet holds and um, yeah, just give that extra difficulty and challenge, but I liked it a lot. And this is me on top of the boulder, just taking in view, enjoying myself. That was the last problem of the day. Just need to catch the ferry, last one back, and yeah, good problems, good challenge for my feet, all that smearing, and I'll be back here in a couple days. Mm -hmm.